well good morning again <laughs> coming to you from Leadville yes I'm still in Leadville but I really am leaving today so in the last video I told you I was leaving and then I wasn't because I did a little shopping and went out to eat and got a little behind on my schedule so I didn't have time to really get on the road and make it to the Breckenridge area so today I actually am leaving it is Friday my family will be here tomorrow I'm so excited to the Breckenridge area and so we're gonna meet up have some fun do some whitewater rafting and you're gonna see all of that in this video and then today I actually have an eye doctor's appointment so usually you guys see me wear my sunglasses which I probably need to wear them right now but my sunglasses are prescription and my regular glasses of course are prescription um, I need them to see far away so I think I'm gonna get some contacts and see how that goes because I think it'll just be better not only for filming and everything but because I'm over the age of 40 and apparently that's like the age where you know your eyes just don't work very well <laughs> I have to have readers too so my glasses are actually bifocal on that note I'm gonna put my glasses on because it is bright outside also on a really 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 important note what do you guys think about this hat I kind of like it it's uh, from a local artist here in Leadville, and she did this like, I think it's a hummingbird right here. Anyways, I love the style of the hat, and I love kind of the colorfulness of it. But anyways, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Guys, we're headed out. I will see you on the road to Breckenridge, and uh, hopefully there's some good stuff to stop and see along the way. guys I am uh, going to dump my tanks and as you can see right here I've got my jerry can that's the new addition that I dumped my cassette toilet into when I want to stay out on BLM longer and I really love it it's a total game changer all right time to dump Alright, that is what I have to do to dump the tank. Now I need to get water, but I want to move forward so that other people behind me can start dumping their tanks. For my water, I use this, uh, it's called the Zero-G hose. I like it because it's nice and flexible and rolls up really tightly. And then I use a filter also to filter the water as it comes in. And it also helps get rid of any sediment. How I know that my water tank is full is there's an overflow valve and water will kind of spill out onto the ground. All right guys, it's done. This is how you can tell. So that my friends is how you dump the tanks and, whoo, bumpy. Uh, fill up the water and now that I have the jerry can I have to obviously dump two of those but that jerry can has really saved me um, on the campgrounds so I really like that I I have it and you know what even when it's sitting inside the van you cannot smell anything at all um, when it's full 
they completely full. So it's very, it's sealed really tight, which obviously I love. I don't have my seatbelt on. Let me put that on. We're gonna go dump the trash really quick. I just have a little bit left over. Those things are heavy. Like, really heavy. It's hard to get with just one hand. Time to sanitize. There's a lot of dust blowing over back there. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. So I made it over to the ice center over in Frisco, Colorado, which is just north of Breckenridge. And there's a little over an hour wait. So they're just kind of fitting me in because when I called the other day, they didn't have an appointment and they said just do a walk-in. So that's what I'm doing. But the great news is that I have the van. I can park right outside of the doctor's office and wait for them. They're gonna call me whenever they're ready for me. Um, especially with everything going on with COVID. I like the fact that I have my van and I can just come sit out here rather than stay inside of the um, waiting room. I can do my work right here and wait for the doctor to call me. All right guys, well, that's it for now. I'll see you in a little bit. All right guys, I got my contacts in. I love them and guess what? They're bifocal contacts. I didn't know they did those. Like I can actually see up close and I can see far away. I absolutely love it. We had to do like a couple of trials because my left eye is a little worse than my right and it was a bit blurry at first so the doctor here was absolutely amazing. Dr. Cook at Summit Eye Care here in Frisco. I can't speak highly enough of them. He was so diligent working with me. I wasn't just a number and moving me through. So I looked at sunglasses too. I love, you know, those aviators, which now my aviators are prescription, so I can't wear them with the contacts in. So I have these old Kate Spade sunglasses. What do you guys think? Hmm, <laughs> different, huh? They're like, I don't know, five years old maybe? But I'm probably just gonna go to like, I'm headed to Walmart and I'm gonna find some cheap, you know, just, aviator sunglasses and see what I can find and then maybe get some better ones later on. And I need to find a place to stay for tonight because this whole area, yeah, they don't really like you doing a whole lot of urban camping, but we're gonna figure it out. Okay, what do you think about these? Hmm, all these glasses, decisions, decisions. Okay, what about these? Hmm, all right, what about these? These actually look like my other ones, I think. I like these a lot. What about these glasses? I might have to get several. I like these too. Hmm. Okay. What about these? These are plastic. They don't hit my cheeks. I kind of like those. Hmm. I do like those. I like these. I don't know. What do you think? Okay. How about these? What do you think? Hmm. I think I like these too. Crap. I'm gonna spend like a hundred bucks on sunglasses. <laughs> I ended up with four sets of glasses. Four pairs of glasses. That's just a weird statement. Pairs. Because it's only one. How about four sunglasses? I don't understand that. Our English language is so weird. Alright guys. Well, I'm over here at the uh, marina. Dillon Park Marina, I believe it's called. In Silverthorne. Guys, it's beautiful here. It's a little windy. Let me turn you around. So uh, the lovely clouds are of course rolling in. 
as it is par for the course for uh, Colorado. But it's a little windy, hopefully you can hear this. By the way, you like my new uh, lipstick too? I'm like doing everything different, aren't I? Perfume, new clothes, new glasses, some red lipstick. There's an amphitheater down here. All right, I have to find a place to stay for tonight. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna pick you back up in the van. It's too windy to talk right now. Ooh, it is a little windy out there. I'm gonna set this back a little bit. I need to find a place to stay tonight and, whew, sorry. I think we're at 9,000 feet. That was like hardly any walking and I'm already out of breath. That's what happens here. Can't always catch my breath really quickly because of the altitude. Um, there's actually a Walmart over in Frisco, which I may stay at tonight, but it's kind of small. The parking lot is small and it's uh, by a major road. There's a couple more spots I'm looking at. There's also some hotels. Um, I could stay in the parking lot of the hotels, no problem, I'm sure. Like this, there's a Best Western right here, right next to me, but it does have signs up that says registered guests only, so I'm sure they get this all the time. But I've been scoping some places out, so I mean, worst case scenario is I stay at uh, Walmart. I didn't go to Breckenridge yet, I'm supposed to go down there of course to meet my sister. I need to pick up packages there tomorrow, but guys, I have a little bit of a problem. So the Breckenridge UPS store has told me that the package that I had sent there from Amazon, I guess it came FedEx, and they're saying that they don't accept FedEx typically, and that they're charging $30 per package. I've got four packages coming there. It's usually $5, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm not paying $30, that's ridiculous. So um, in my opinion, that is price gouging, and that's illegal, so, I'm gonna go in there and try to uh, talk with them. Hopefully they're only saying $30 for the package because it was FedEx and their UPS store. Most UPS stores will accept that stuff, USPS, FedEx, and UPS. So I don't know what the problem is. The manager there told me that um, the reason why they charge $30 is because um, they don't like people sending them packages there. And so it's a deterrent for them. Um, or it's a deterrent to the person sending the package, but I, and I haven't talked to him about this yet, but in my mind's eye, uh, from a legal standpoint, I believe that they need to have that posted in a very prominent area so that people would know that. And he's saying that they are a franchise, therefore they can pretty much do what they want, and I don't agree with that either. They still have to abide by corporate um, regulations, so um, I'll be contacting the corporate UPS about it, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. Needless to say, I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm gonna take you in there with me. And you know me, I'm positive. I don't like doing that stuff. I'm also not gonna let someone take advantage of me either. $30 a package? I, I, there's four packages. They would That would literally cost me $120 to pick up packages. No, we're not doing them. I'm in such a good mood, guys. You know what it is, is I missed moving. And I got to lay out in the grass earlier. Oh, it was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Seeing the mountains, the water, the sun. You know those are my favorites, I love it. When you have all that together, oh, it's like I'm on cloud nine. I love it, I love it. It's just been a good day. And then moving from Leadville, I'd been there for a month. You know, it's a little bit crowded here. Lots of people, of course. Not horrible. It's a neat area. It'd be a cool place to live, actually. So my friends, the Gallaghers, I actually met them originally when I was out in Mexico. They're escapers, and they live up here in this area, so they really like it. But I'm hoping they go to Mexico with me. They say they might. We'll see. Gallaghers, if you're watching this, you better go. Okay. All right, guys. I am going to go. I need to go find a place to park for the night. It's, uh, it's only 440, but I need to go scope a few things out. Maybe I'll put the rose-colored ones on. How's that? There we go. All right, guys. I'll see you in a little bit. found a spot. 
I think it doesn't say I can't park here. It's in kind of a residential area by the hotel I was looking at. The hotel looks like you could stay there, but it looks a little busy. So this is where I'm at. And right around the corner over here, it's called the Frisco Pathway. And you can ride your bike. The lake is over there. It's beautiful. So maybe Lily and I'll take a walk over there tonight. But I need to actually finish a couple of videos and get those out. Because I didn't work today. I was supposed to work and I didn't. I've been all over town enjoying myself. So that's what happens. It's a Friday. I should have been working. But I had to move today. And this is what happens sometimes when you're working from the road. Sometimes you need to move and um, take care of things. And then work later. So I will be working tonight because I didn't get it done during the day. That's all right. I had a really, really, really good day. It was really good. I loved it. I loved laying in the grass. Oh, it's just beautiful. So anyways, I talked to my family. They are on their way. They're still in Texas. Texas is a huge state. <laughs> um, but they didn't get um, out of Dallas until late because um, my brother-in-law had to work. So anyways, I will see them tomorrow. We're going to have dinner together. I'm so excited. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hang it up for tonight. Most likely. You might see me later if we go for a walk. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. This place is seriously amazing. <sighs> I love, love, love all of the nature around here and how beautiful it is. And it's so quiet, except for, except for the highway that you can kind of hear in the background, but it's not bad. <sighs> I love this walking path around me. And we've got some condos and stuff behind me and some hotels, but then, you have this beautiful, beautiful lake and the mountains out here. And uh, you can come out here on your bike. You can walk. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I could probably live here. Except I don't know how it is in the wintertime. I imagine it's really freaking cold. So I'm going to turn you around so you can see. Look at that. Is that not amazing? Beautiful water. Look at the sign. Bailey. <laughs> Come here, Bailey Grace. Did Look you have a new room. friend? Look at that cute little <laughs> Lily. Lily, come here. Come here, baby, come here. What you doing, what you doing? That dog was so adorable. Bailey Grace is her name. And uh, she wanted to play with Lily. She was running. Well, looks like our spot's gonna work out for the night. We've had some walkers who've been gawking, mostly at my bike because everybody loves my bike cover. It's that velo sock. And so it's unusual and they like to really look at it and, you know, see what it's all about. So, anyways, I'm glad we were able to get out and actually walk. It is so beautiful here. I know I keep saying that, but boy, it really is. <sighs> all right. I'm going to enjoy the scenery and put the camera down. You guys have a good evening. I'll see you in the morning. Bye.